YouTubers, it's Vincent1989 here and today I'm going to be doing another 10 minute tutorial for you. This one is to answer a number of complaints I've seen, particularly on the, the Warlord Games Hail Caesar Facebook group regarding Warlord Games transfers and the reason I'm doing this video is because I think the same adage applies here is, in the, is that sometimes a bad workman can blame his tools. And this is certainly something I used to do back when I used to play Warhammer 40,000 and, and when I used to do airfix models, is that um, when you apply transfers using just water, they don't look as neat and tidy or as good as when you when you apply them using the proper the proper tools. So today I'm going to tell you about the proper tools and how they work, and I'm going to show you how they work. So we're going to be using our transfer, which I've got here, if I can pick it up, nope, so we've got our transfer, and this is the one from this sheet here, um, it's uh, not translucent, it's, it is red, however, um, I've chosen to paint the shield red as well, this is what I do for my, my own legionaries, um, we are going to use some water, we are going to use a brush. We are going to use these two products, Microset and Microsol. Now you can see here the first one is for softening decals and improving adhesion. And the second one is to also soften the decals so that they conform to irregular surfaces for a painted on look. Now I discovered these when I was doing my Flames of War models. I was trying in vain to use varnish um, to help me apply the decals to the transfers to provide a smooth smooth surface but um, I was still getting the silvering and the bubbling underneath so I looked around for these so first thing we're going to do is just pop the transfer in the water leave it there um, now hopefully when we do this what we'll get is something that looks like these guys if you can see them there The transfers have conformed perfectly and it almost looks as if they've been painted on. If you applied a coat of varnish over the top of this you take away the sheen um, but I don't want to do that because whenever you look at um, pictures of reenactors their shields always look a bit shiny so I quite like that finish. Um, if you were go, if you wanted to matte it down you just put some matte varnish over the top. Okay so we've left that in there for a little while. Um, while you've got the transfer in the water, what you need to do is apply number one, that's the micro set. You'll notice I've numbered them to help me out. Um, you get loads in the bottle and you're not going to use too much. But what you need to do is apply it everywhere that the transfer is going to be. Now the, uh, one of the problems people are having with these transfers is that they're a bit bigger than the area that's available on the shield. Now this is a problem if you're just using water because it doesn't stick properly to any area that causes the transfer to um, sit proud of the surface and also the fact that the shield is curved doesn't help either. But with uh, Microset and Microsol none of that matter. So once you've painted that on just wash your brush off. Now we're going to get the transfer out the water bowl and with any luck it will be, yep, so this means we can apply the transfer. Now make sure it's the right way up, not so important if your shields aren't on the model yet but if they're on the model we want to make sure they're the right way. And just try and place it roughly centrally and uh, use the brush to smooth it down as much as possible um, I found you don't need to be too gentle with these transfers they seem to be quite sturdy um, I think they're quite thick and again I think that's why a lot of people are having some problems um, now I don't know if you can see on there you'll notice it is quite lumpy and bumpy 
Now that's fine, as it softens it will sink down. Just want to do the best we can to make that as flat as possible. Once you're happy with the position, we need number two, which is micro sole. Now I think these can be bought on Amazon, and I think they're about eight pound each now. Uh, I think as they've gained in popularity, they've become a bit more expensive. And again, don't be too shy with this. We need it all over the transfer. As the transfer dries, it will crinkle, so it's best to do sort of 10 models, and when you reach the last one, go back to the first one and just smooth it out again. And that's because the transfer's softening and conforming to all the, the crevices and cracks. So try and be careful not to move it, but if you do, you can always move it back into position. So there's the micro set and micro solid plug. As you can see, it is still lumpy and bumpy. So we'll come back to this in a few minutes time. So as you can see now, the decal started to go a little bit wrinkly. It's really um, molding into all those, especially down the sides of the shield and uh, where, where the boss is uh, riveted on. Um, what I'm going to do now is apply a second very light coat of number two, the micro sole, and this just helps to to keep the, the decal nice and soft over the whole model. The whole um, transfer, I should say. And literally... That is it. You let this dry and then you varnish to your taste. Um, once it's dry, I'll show you the finished article. So, as we can see here, the decal is fully dry. It's still soft and um, it will take a little while for it to set. But when it does, it will uh, look exactly like these guys here. is uh, really smooth it does look almost painted on um, there's no sheen there's no bubbles I would recommend these products will now cost you probably 15 16 pounds to get in the UK you may be able to get them cheaper elsewhere but um, for the price you pay they last you forever I've had mine for about five years now and um, I've used it to do uh, my flames of war and now my Romans and um, they'd be perfect for any other decals that you might decals or transfers that you might need to apply. See there, there's no silvering, it's fully conformed. Okay, so if you've uh, enjoyed this video or if you found it useful please make sure to like uh, or comment and share and subscribe with all your friends as well to help them out with their transfers too. Have a good day.